In Washington, D.C., it's day one of oral arguments in the Supreme Court, and a battle is brewing once again over abortion rights across the nation. Since the last showdown over the new Texas law, local clinics say they're seeing some women travel as far as Nevada for care. The fact that people are going all the way to Las Vegas is important. That says something is really going on here. How far will women travel for abortion care? Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains says in the 34 days since Texas enacted its abortion law, banning abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy, around the time most women don't know they're pregnant, the agency says 106 patients have traveled to Colorado, New Mexico, and even a handful to Nevada. Other abortion advocates in the Silver State express concern. The true numbers of women traveling for care to Nevada is not really known among all providers. We in Nevada um, are, are very much in support of uh, this right. Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford pledging in a Zoom call with other attorney generals in the region to protect access. I suspect they're from one of the larger cities, Dallas or Houston, and they would, of course, be folks who can afford to buy a plane ticket. Vicki Cowart with the region's Planned Parenthood organization says child care, time off work and medical expenses are already real barriers for women to seek care and worries women may delay seeking care in the Silver State or elsewhere when every week counts. The folks who are hardest hit by this, it's people of color, it, it's Latinx, it's black women, it's rural women women who are not well employed already. The increase in patients from Texas that we might be seeing in Nevada could be even larger than what Planned Parenthood is seeing. We have no way of knowing just yet. At the end of the day, a lot of our callers are are unemployed. They come from, from low-income backgrounds. They're, they're struggling. The funds that we're able to provide makes a difference between whether or not somebody is able to afford rent or groceries. Wild West Access Fund of Nevada is an all-volunteer group that gathers funds for women for travel and medical costs and distributes aftercare kits. We remain committed to help these young callers, these callers in general, uh, and we recognize that the increase in patients might be even larger than we're seeing just yet. Now, both the Wild West Access Fund of Nevada and Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains have resources to guide you where you need to go and how to apply for funds.